Hello and welcome back to the sideboard here at SCG Nashville. We're getting ready to enter round four of the Legacy Open and I'm here with Andrew Shrout. Hey. Good to see you. I like that handshake, that was good. Anyway, new select side um, writer Andrew Shrout has got a new take on death and taxes and what is that called for us today? Uh, I'm calling it death and blaxes. And that would be because he is using scrubland and marsh flats to access black mana for one card in the sideboard. Yeah. What would that be? I am boarding three Zealous Persecutions today. And what exactly is that good in, and how many matchups are you bringing it in against? I suspected that Death and Taxes was going to be a lot more popular this weekend than it has been uh, because of Spirit of the Labyrinth, and looking around the room, I kind of think that's playing out. I'm not really sure. Uh, so I wanted a card that breaks open mirror matches. Uh, Zealous Persecution is definitely that card in the mirror. Uh, it also shores up Elves, which is traditionally the worst matchup for Death and Taxes. Uh, it's still a bad matchup, honestly, but <laughs> Zealous Persecution helps a lot there, uh, and it's an answer to True Name Nemesis. So it does a lot of work. Right, it, it hits all the things you need it hit. And then another card I caught that caught my eye is, of course, Born of the Gods, sort of all-star slash one of the three like cards people really care about, Spirit of the uh, Labyrinth. Mm -hmm. Now, talk about your experiences with it. Has it lived up to what the hype? Has it been good in testing, and et cetera? Like, elaborate. Okay, well, Spirit, uh, you say good in testing. Honestly, this tournament is testing for me. <laughs> uh, I, I suspected it would be really good, so I played four of them, and that, that may change if it turns out not to be as good in this tournament, but so far, I've had it in, in play uh, in all three of my matches today, and it stopped a Jace from brainstorming in round one, Seems and good. it uh, stopped an actual brainstorm in round two, and it actually, uh, it didn't actually stop, but it would have stopped a Biden of Thassa in round three. Round three was crazy. But uh, Biden of Thassa was against what? What kind of deck again? I was, I, I guess, Sea, sea Stompy. Yes. Is that what the kids on the internet call it these it days? Some, some strange brew. Yeah, uh, but anyway, it, it has had many uh, live interactions in all three of my matches, and I think that's just going to play out. It seems like it's never dead, and it can be backbreaking, and I, I expect that. Uh, all four is going to be the right number. And how many are in main and how many inside? Yeah, I have all four of the spirits have, of the labyrinth in, right. the, in the main. Because I thought you said you had three and then you decided to move yes, the fourth I, one? Uh, yes, yeah, I had three in the main until the last second and just decided that it's, uh, it was probably, like, it was worth testing. I thought it was going to be good and the only way I could really be sure it was good or not if I was just jammed all four. Right. Uh, and I've, so far I'm pretty happy with that decision. I cut the third flicker wisp at the last second to, to make room for it. And then the rest of the deck is just pretty much sure. Death yeah, and taxes yeah. There's not. Playing for a while. Yeah, not much different. Uh, Death and taxes is pretty well established. Uh, the, the the specific 75. Um, Thomas Edmondson, of course, the uh, the OG of Death and Taxes, <laughs> and uh, most people who play the deck base their list really, really heavily on his uh, for good reason. And I haven't deviated much from that, other than what we've discussed. Um, the uh, one thing I want to want to note is the mana base. Uh, there was some concern that adding black sources would make the deck more vulnerable to Wasteland. Uh, I think I found a good way around that. I replaced four of the planes. I originally had eight planes, and I replaced four of those planes with Marsh Flats, which of course can be planes uh, if I need to play around Wasteland. And the three Scrublands are replacing an Igonjo Castle, which really was never, I never activated that anyway, uh, and two Horizon Canopies. I did like Horizon Canopy, I, I kind of missed that card, but it's a lot worse once you have Four Spirit of the Labyrinth in your deck. Uh, if I would change anything about the mana base, I actually wish I had fewer planes, because I'm starting to think that I'm going to get massacred a lot, and I would, I kind of want those Horizon Canopies back just so I can have a white source that is not, that doesn't have the word planes on it. Right. That's interesting. Well, it's a pretty nice take on the deck, and I'm glad to uh, talk with you here. And good luck here, of course, 3-0, correct? 3-0. Yeah, All right, well, good luck the rest of the way. Thank you. Thanks a lot. And uh, for Nick Miller and Andrew Shrout here in the sideboard, we'll see you later in SCG Nashville.